But first, committed crooks. Thieves spend hours inside a local business prying open an ATM and stealing thousands of dollars. In fact, they weren't quiet about it. They cleaned out the ATM without anyone ever showing up. And it appears this wasn't their only big catch. Sean Lay is live with the story. And Sean, it seems like ATM heights are usually pretty difficult to pull off. Golden D, good evening, Kimberly and Devin. Look, ask the banks, ask the police. They say it's next to impossible to break into an ATM. But let's show you this video. A couple of thieves here had the time and the tools to pull it off. You've heard about these types of destructive heists now. Only Local 4 can show you one as it unfolds. A stolen Dodge Ram is used to ram the side of the Salina Liquor Store on the city's west side early Wednesday morning. The impact sending bricks and an ice machine flying. Coming into view, two members of a Caucasian crew, a man and a woman. The sauna troll security alarm, the shop owner says, fails, allowing the two to go to work on the ATM inside the store for three hours. It's supposed to be nearly impossible to break into an ATM and successfully get the cash out. This couple did get into the machine and get, sources say, far more than $5,000 out of it. We're learning tonight that two of the four people involved in this break-in have been arrested. I'm told this is a large team of Caucasian and African-American members that are now being looked at for multiple business break-ins in Detroit. This corner has a good business on one side, a church on the other, both now targeted for break-ins. Went through the window the first time, window the second time, kicked in the back door the third time. Pastor Byron Gordy at Christ Resurrection Church says this area is trying to hold on and keep things like this from happening. The neighborhood itself, uh, you can't give up on the neighborhood. You know, it's a lot of good people around the neighborhood. It usually only takes one or two bad apples to make everybody look bad. That stolen Dodge Ram used to ram the side of this building and break open that hole. It was recovered a short uh, distance from here. Again, two arrests made so far. More arrests are expected now in the future, and police are already working to connect this crew to other similar break-ins in the area. We're live on the west side tonight. Sean Lay, Local 4.